Hey up guys, welcome back to Simply Snuff. Oh man, what a lovely day, sun shining, birds are tweeting, all is good word the world. Um, I've been doing quite a few walkabout videos recently so I thought it's about time I got back to business and uh, did a proper review. So today I'm going to concentrate on toke, whiskey and honey. Apparently there's two versions of this, there's one that's made in the UK by Roderick and his team. This is the one I'm trying, there's one in the USA. I've not tried it, don't know whether it's any different, no idea, but all I'm doing is uh, having a look at this one today. I've heard some good reviews about it, as ever, toke snuffs, really well presented, nice tin, screw top, nice labelling, clear, looks good, nice and modern, I like it. Um, so yeah, we'll, uh, we'll be getting that up the Uta today. I've got my snuff hanky with me. Get me tash sorted out. Oh man, that sunshine is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I don't know who this is. Hope you don't want my attention. Anyway, I've got me, uh, I got my snuff hanky. I got my snuff paddle. I got my snuff. Today is toke, whiskey and honey. Look at that. Light brown. Nice enough. Very fine grind. Oh, it's dropping out the tin straight on the floor. Look at that. Fine grind. Oh, man. Fine grind, yeah. It's uh, obviously a toast. Um, light brown in colour. It's a decent uh, moisture content in it. Seems to uh, hold up all right. Plenty of clumping going on it, which I like. I don't like all this dustiness, to be honest with you. But anyway, um, let's have a smell out the tin. Well, you get honey, but I'll tell you what it reminds me of. I'll let this uh, this van go past. Uh, I'll tell you what it reminds me of when you smell it out of the tin. It's a bit like Toke Ambrosia. You get that smell out of the tin of the Toke Ambrosia. It's not dissimilar. Look at that. <laughs> That's fine and dry, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, there must be some moisture in it because it's clumping all right. So it is a bit like the Toke Ambrosia. Um, Let's have a let's have a quick tour of it. Oh, oh, that's nice. Honey straight off. Loads of honey sweetness going on. Sweetness, a little bit smoky scent, a little bit smoky in there. And uh, yeah, but I'm not getting any whiskey. I'm getting plenty of honey. Big honey hit. Yeah, lovely tobacco. Nice enough. No noticeable tobacco scents drifting around. Uh, you just get you just get a bit of you get a lot of honey scent and you get a bit of smokiness going on. Quite pleasant if you like sweet snuffs. They're not my out and out favourite, but you know as far as uh, sweet snuffs are concerned, it's more than decent. Let's have another little two. Yeah, you're getting that. What is it? You're getting that toasty biscuit cookie type flavour mixed with you know it's like uh, honey biscuits which you get in that toasty flavour kicking around in the background nicotine's probably decent enough uh, again it's one of those if you have too much of it and I'm doing these reviews it can give me a bit of a buzz and I think this might do it um, that's definitely a fine grind is that look at that fine grind is that one very easy to take uh, I want <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't like to be taking to you on a windy day, but uh, there you go. Oh, bloody hell. That was a bit not near the front of my nose. Get it near the front of your nose, Simon. That was near the back of my nose, and I don't like that experience. But that is honey sweet, honey sweet, sweet honey all the way. You get a little bit of smokiness, but that uh, on the third two, that sort of disappears. And then you get this uh, biscuit-type toasty biscuits cooking in the oven honey smell drifting around it's great any whiskey not a drop of it I don't know where the whiskey comes from but if it's in there my nose holes aren't uh, and my uh, smelling buds <laughs> I'm sure there's a proper name for them <laughs> my uh, my sense of smell isn't picking that whiskey up so um, yeah, it's uh, it's okay. Is there a burn with it? Not really. 
uh, he just sits there. You've got to be careful with this one because like I did, if you don't get it at the front of your nose, it's going to go down the back of your throat. And uh, that's not a particularly pleasant experience in my world. So what we got today, uh, we got toke, whiskey and honey, lovely packaging, nice labelling, fine, fine grind I would say, bit of moisture in there, lots of sweet honey smell, bit of biscuits, toasty, baking biscuits, kicking around, any whiskey, not a jot of it, I can't, I, 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 can't, I don't get any uh, whiskey in there at all very easy to take in terms of pinch but as I say you've got to be careful where you uh, where you go with it <laughs> front to nose and uh, yeah burn no burn no burn no burn I like a burn no burn with this it's a good snuff I have to say there is nothing wrong with this snuff nothing at all it's just not my cup of tea um, I'm not much into the sweet snuffs and this is definitely in the sweet uh, sweet category so uh, yeah, that's it. That's another uh, that's another review under the belt. Uh, I said I'd do a few questions and answers, and a lot of people are asking me why I've been banned off TikTok. <laughs> okay, so who knows? <laughs> it's a funny old world, isn't it? But I'm posting on uh, I'm posting on Instagram, and uh, yeah, I'm starting to get a bit of a feedback there. But I'm going to concentrate on YouTube. I like it, and I've got a uh, about 16, 1700 uh, subscribes now, which is absolutely fantastic. So I'll keep on keeping on. Um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Chin chin. <laughs>